Today at Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa, we're going to take this 1965 Chevy Malibu out for a cruise. We're going to talk about it a little bit. It's a 1965 Chevelle Malibu convertible, riding on a good set of rally rims. Dalt, you want to go ahead and start it up? As far as your engine goes, it's a 283 with a four barrel carburetor. Does have headers, power steering, aluminum radiator. The engine sounds good, runs well. As far as the engine compartment goes, um, the inner fenders and firewall, stuff like that's all original. You have some, uh, some cracking in the paint, some checking. It's just a, how I classify this car is just a driver quality car. Uh, older restoration, still a, a nice cruise night car, but uh, definitely not a show winner. It does have the old school louvered hood. Lines up real nice along the top of the fender to the top of the hood. Um, gaps a little tight here in the very front. As far as our gap over here in the passenger side, uh, nice and even. It's a tighter gap, but nice and even from front to back. As we come up here to the grill, front bumper, headlight covers, all that kind of stuff, it all appears to be 100% original. So there is some scratches, some chips, dings, stuff like that. Uh, but again, driver quality car, guys, not a show car. As we look up and down the sides, uh, it uh, kind of had an amateur uh, paint job on it. Um, looks good at 30 foot, you get up close, you can see just a little bit of choppiness in the paint. Got a really nice door gap here. As we go onto the lower fender, there's no bubbles or blisters, any issues. We got a little paint scratch right here. Other than that, uh, front fender looks fine. We have some touch-ups right here along this, and we got a chip right here in the door. Front edge of the door is excellent. I don't see any bubbles or blisters there. Rocker panel looks good. In front of the rear quarter all looks good down in here. No issues, no bubbles, no blisters, nothing over the wheel well, and nothing behind the wheel well, guys, for bubbles or blisters that I can see. Also, this restoration of paint and stuff was done a lot, of, many years ago. Um, as far as our door handle goes, it looks like he did replace the door handle. Door is open and shut good. Um, the quarter sits up just a little higher here on the passenger side than the door, not bad. But when they did do quarters on the driver's side, I'll point that out, um, that quarter sits uh, quite high against the door. That'll need to be redone to be a show car. We go down here in the uh, bottom corner of the door on the passenger side, really not in bad shape at all, just a little bit of seam seal um, under this pane here. Uh, you can just tell when he painted it, they painted and didn't take off the rubbers, so they painted on the rubbers. When he went to the interior, it looks like they put all brand new carpet in it, new seat covers, door panels, armrests, pads, stuff like that. Bases look like they were repainted. Really nice interior. Uh, it's got the factory black padded dash, and there's about three or four little cracks in that above around the speaker area. It's got some uh, custom auto sound kick panels with the speakers down in there. The seats are in excellent shape. We cleaned those out. They cleaned up very nicely. Back door panels, back seat, no rips or tears. Uh, very nice shape. It's got the nice plush carpet in it. So on our interior, guys, uh, very, very nice. The steering wheel uh, should be repainted. That's kind of a tan wheel with a red dash, so that will need to be redone. It's got an automatic transmission. Door shuts nice. As we look inside the trunk, that's all been speckled gray. You can go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. There you'll be able to see the trunk pictures and also the undercarriage pictures. If we go around here to the dual exhaust, there's absolutely no smoke coming out of the tailpipes. Runs excellent. If we look up and down the sides of the passenger side, the passenger side, guys, you can see a few little chops here and there on it, but really, if a guy block, repainted this and just blocked it once, 
the passenger side's in excellent shape. And I know I'm sitting here talking about repainting it. It just depends on what level you want to go to. If you just want a cruise night car, leave it alone, enjoy it, have a blast. If we go to the back bumper, again at 10 feet, it shines great, looks nice, but you get up close, it's original, there's scratches, chips, dings, stuff like that. Not perfect. Tail light chrome, trunk lid chrome, really is in good shape for original. Also, our uh, trunk lid lines up really nice here on the passenger side, all the way around it. Driver's side lines up excellent as well. As we go to the uh, driver's side, same thing, quarter panel, door, fender. It's got just a little choppiness to it because the paint still has some orange peel on it. It has not been wet sanded and buffed. So I think that's a lot of it. But when they put this quarter panel on, they left it high on the, uh, up by the door. You can see the body lines don't line up. So a guy would want to redo that to make it a show winner. Lower quarter behind the rear wheel, absolutely no imperfections, no bubbles, no blisters. Same thing over the wheel and down below. Just a super nice quarter panel there. You can see when they did it, this line doesn't line up here. I don't think, it just looks to me like they got the quarter too high on this corner. Um, I don't think you can take that door up much. It does drop, but no bubbles or blisters on the rocker panel or the lower fender. That all looks really good. Our front edge door gap is really good all the way from top to bottom. The front fender on the driver's side, I don't see any scratches, dings, dents, blisters, nothing. Driver's side door does have some body filler in the corner. Driver's side uh, door panels in excellent shape. Seats in excellent shape. The cord's really nice. I mean, the restoration was done a quite a while ago and just really upkept very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and turn the video camera over to Dalton while we talk about the rest here. All right, we can kind of come down to the gauges. Um, temperature gauge is at 180, oil pressure is right at about 40, and it's been sitting here running for quite a while, so we've got uh, really nice temperature and good oil pressure. Um, horn is not working. It does have an aftermarket tachometer right here. That works. Um, as far as the odometer goes, we have 79,752 miles on the odometer. Wipers are in working order and they park correctly. Glove box is all brand new. I know they've got new kick panels and stuff down there, but it's still got the original AM Delco radio and the AM Delco radio is not working. Also the heater controls are all there, but the heater control um, piece needs to be reworked up in there. It's not in the proper spot and it's kind of loose. Actually, guys, we do have a horn button right here. <laughs> Never quite seen one like that, but it works. So the engine runs really good. Um, I can't remember; it's been a while since I put this on the website. It's been a, a week or two here, so I'm trying to think if it's got a 700 R4 in it. It's got a really nice BNM shifter, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a 700 R4 um, automatic transmission with overdrive. It's a really nice day here in Iowa for having the top down. It's about 75, 80 degrees. We got just a little bit of a fan fan belt noise that we got to check on when we get back. Speedometer 
speedometer works great. Um, gas gauge is above empty, but I'm not 100% sure if that's working or not, but it is above the line on empty. I think we're just a little low. Brakes seem to work fine. There's no hard pull left or right. And the front uh, suspension and stuff feels fine. Again, it does have power steering and it's got the disc brake. I'm sorry, it doesn't have disc brakes. It's got power steering, it's got the headers. I'm gonna go ahead and go down through the gears a little bit. Shift it down to first. <laughs> That's what's cool about these old cars. No matter where you go, by a gas station, people holler. got the potential. It's a great driving car. Uh, the speedometer is off about 50 mile an hour. I think we are doing about 80 there and it showed about 90. Here's your kick down even at low speeds. 